see my revered Name our judges, students. All right. Please, um, I'll be doing this address on behalf of the Right Honorable Speaker of Ghana's Parliament, Right Honorable Alban Sumana Kingsford Bagbin. He is engaged in an equally important program such as this, and so he has asked that I represent him. And so thank you very much for the audience. Our members of parliament present, the Director General and other directors of the Ghana Education Service, board management and staff of the DD Global, hope it's DD Global, the judges and educators of the National Public Speaking Competition, heads, teachers, and students of competing schools, our traditional leaders, good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, I would wish to congratulate the organizers and again the partners and participating schools in the National Public Speaking Competition. I am particularly excited that this is the fourth edition and it is my expectation that our partners will continue to support this initiative as we build the public speaking skills of our students. My information is that about 200 senior high school across all 16 regions of Ghana are participating in this year's competition and this is commendable. I think we can put our hands together for ourselves. Public speaking, ladies and gentlemen, is an important leadership skill that we must deliberately develop in our students. This is because it comes with several benefits. These benefits include helping students to improve effectively. Public speaking also helps students to critically, to be critical thinkers as they are able to research, analyze and evaluate information to be able to present them persuasively, particularly when they are arguing or they are making very constructive arguments. These are valuable skills in their academic and also our professional pursuits. The participation of students, ladies and gentlemen, in public speaking competitions such as this, one also helps them to sharpen their presentational skills where they make effective use of body language, engage their audience, and deliver their messages in compelling manner. Such competitions afford students the opportunity to identify their weaknesses and improve upon them while expanding their network through the new people they meet and also the friends they make along their life journey. I find the theme for this year's competition very, very interesting. Mental health and the adolescent child. And it's also appropriate. Your choice of the theme responds to the need to sensitize adolescents on how to develop both our social and also our emotional habits. Adolescence is a crucial period for developing positive 
social and emotional habits for their mental well-being. These include adopting healthy sleep patterns, exercising regularly, developing coping, and also some problem solving and interpersonal skills and learning to also manage our emotions. There is a misconception and stigma that surrounds mental health and that is something we must all work together to address. According to the Human Rights Watch, families often take people with real or perceived mental health conditions or psychological disabilities to faith-based organizations or traditional healers because of widely held belief that such disabilities are caused by a curse or evil spirit. And because their communities also have no or limited mental services. And according again to the Ghana Mental Health Authority, there are about 5,000 prayer camps and traditional healing centers across the country. Psychiatric facilities are also understaffed and in poor conditions. While we continue to advocate to address these challenges, I would urge you through the knowledge acquired in this competition, serve as both ambassadors and also advocates for mental health in Ghana instead of sending persons suspected to have mental health problems to prayer camps and other healing centers. We have to encourage ourselves and ensure that these persons seek proper medical care and also advice. On this note, I revere traditional leaders, ladies and gentlemen. I will take this opportunity once again to commend all participants and also schools who are participating in this year's competition. Whether your school wins or loses, it is also part of the competition. In any case, there has to be a winner and also, you're not a loser, I wouldn't say you're a loser, but there's always a better time next time. And so it is my expectation that we will continue to work hard in school be disciplined by observing all school rules and regulations so that we can grow to become responsible citizens and leaders of our dear country. This is the speech I've read to you on behalf of the right honorable speaker and he sends his best wishes to all of us. Thank you very much.